secret to vlogging. Sometimes you only gotta dress from the waist up and just leave your pajamas and slippers on from the waist down. <laughs> We are actually heading the opposite direction right now than our dinner location because I am so obsessed with getting a new camera. We're actually gonna go check one out first before we head to dinner. New vlogger props. Quick, quick run into Best Buy so we can look at a new camera. But first, Jay wants to take a look at this awesome car. That's pretty nice. That's not what we're here for. We're here for a camera. Hey everybody, uh, Gretchen here, new vlogger. Just bought myself a new vlogging camera. Did a little bit of research and this is the one that I've decided is best and will meet my needs. All right, let's get to it and let's open it. which I will definitely need. Um, looks like a warranty type card. And looks like the camera itself. Nice. It is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, why I chose this over the Sony is um, a couple reasons. It has image stabilization that the Sony does not have and watching a couple videos again I noticed a difference um, when people videotape this against the Sony. Um, also what I like about this one and again I am by no means a professional so I'm just coming from a girl's opinion, brand new vlogger, what I like. Um, so image stabilization and I like the size of this. This one has a good grip. I don't know if you can see it very well, but um, it's got a spot to hold, even on the back side. It has a little thumb groove right there um, that you can put your hand in, and it just feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hand. When I held the Sony, I felt like it was going to slip out of my hand when using it. And being new and not super comfortable around these types of cameras, I wanted something I felt comfortable holding. So again, that's why I chose this one over the Sony. Um, same thing as the Sony as far as the flip screen flips up for selfies so that's really nice this also is a touch screen so you can touch it and give it um, commands that way also the screen folds out similar to the Sony as well let's check out the size difference or let me put something up comparable to this so you can see um, the size here's a comparison for you um, here's the Canon against my iPhone 7, which is the newest one out there. It's not a plus, so it's just a 7 average size iPhone. Let's see if I can figure this out. Haha, -ha, backwards. <laughs> Alright, and then it's got a lock feature, which I don't know if you guys are seeing. Lock it. Power button. Boom. And we're on. And of course I've got to um, set all this stuff up, so... Let me skip ahead to that. Okay, so I skipped ahead where I got some things set up and I don't have a memory card in it yet, but I just wanted to show you the screen. Um, again, where you could flip up. Oh, you're going to see my old camera. Um, hi. <laughs> and uh, see yourself to do selfies. And then also wanted to show you that it is touch screen which I really like. So you can do a quick functions there. Um, it does have the flash, which I'll turn it this way. Oops, I'm touching the screen. Flash here, which is just a side button over here um, that can go up and down. And I think I saw on something where this can tilt up if you need it to, but I don't know how you get it to stay there. So I'm gonna have to figure that out if it even can stay up. Um, so that goes up and down. One person on a vlog talked about the clicks here, but I guess with this new one, it's got a button over here feature that you can turn it and you no longer hear the clicks if you want to manually turn that. So other items in the box. Charging station. Battery. Um, and then looks like we got a strap. And that's it. 
So, boom. New camera. Maybe I will um, compare this to my Sony, which is a camcorder type Sony, and shoot some footage. I'm a beginner and I don't know if I know how to do all that, but. Hi guys. Uh, now I'm gonna show you the difference between the two cameras as far as lighting is concerned. Right now, I do have some video lights in front of me that are casting direct um, light on my face. And check my link down below because some of you have commented in my previous camera video about lights and wanting to get into lighting um, as well. And I have found these on Amazon and they are cheap but really good quality. So um, compared to what I saw at that video store in my last vlog, they were super expensive and didn't look quite the quality of these. Now obviously they did have bigger and you know nicer quality ones for big productions but if you're a small time blogger like me or kind of getting up in the ranks um, these lights are going to suit you just fine. So I will put a link to those. But getting back to the cameras um, on my right is my Canon and on my left is my old Sony so you can just kind of see the lighting. This is where I would normally sit to do kind of like my dialogues in my vlogs. So um, we can see the lighting there. I do have some lights still on in the room. This is lighting with the two cameras right now. Now let's talk about the zoom quality, which I think there's a bit of difference. Um, I really do believe that my old Sony zooms better. Um, and I'll show you, hopefully, um, the difference with that. So I've chosen um, one of my favorite lip balms, which is Dior's lip glow. Um, I have it on right now. It's not an actual color itself. It looks pink but goes on clear. Um, anyways, I'm going to put this up towards the uh, camera just to see how it zooms. So we're going to do the Sony first. And as you can tell, the Sony stays right on it. Um, there is no lag in, you know, zooming in on it, especially on the name of the lip balm. And now we'll go to the Canon. And this is what I've discovered with the Canon. Is it does not focus very well on small objects. You can see it's still focused on my face. Now I can touch screen it and then the lip glow comes into focus. Which that's okay, but sometimes you just want to throw something up quickly and have it um, focus in real quickly, but it doesn't. And then I could touch the screen back. Maybe, yeah, it's thinking about it now. If I want it to focus, refocus back on my face. Now, one thing I found out that I can do is um, put a hand up and hopefully <laughs> that'll work. I've test drove this many times, but if you put a hand up behind the object, the Canon tends to focus more on the hand, henceforth bringing forward the smaller objects. So let's test it. Here we go. Boom. So I found out that is the trick to when you want to focus on smaller objects. I really hope this helps somebody out because I struggled with it when I first got this camera. In fact, I was really <laughs> ready to take this camera back because I want it to zoom in on things. And really when I'm just talking about something to you all, if I want to show you a product and it happens to be small, but focusing in and out um, when you're you know outside and you want to hit up you know someone across the crowd or zoom in on a flower or something, it has no problem focusing you know when you're zooming and does autofocus that way. But if you want to put an object up small, it really struggles because it wants to take me in the background still unless I tap on the camera. But if I want to have it do it quickly without reaching up and tapping the camera um, to tell it to focus on it, then all I gotta do is put a hand up. Mystery solved. And I'm sure some of you camera connoisseurs and videographers are going, yeah, we already knew that. But to people like me who are brand new, I didn't know that. And it took me a little bit to figure that out. In fact, it took me like a day and a half and about ready to take this camera back. That's how long it took, so hopefully that helps somebody out. All right, so we've done lighting, we've done zoom. Let's move on to traveling around in the house and outside of the house. All right, let's go, let's get out, let's go. So this is me next to a window with natural lighting. Um, I do still have um, a little bit of the um, artificial 
video lighting um, off to my left. So you can see that a little bit. But the window is right next to me and I'll pan around so you can see the window and outside and how the lighting changes. So that's the difference. Oh, and there's my lights if you're wondering what those look like. And again, I will put a link to the bottom, but those sit in front of me when I video and give you great lighting. And I'll go in front of them again. So now I'm in front of the great lighting so you can see the difference. And let me go shut the lighting off so you can see the difference without that great lighting and check the link below. You're gonna wanna get it. Oh, here's the difference without the lighting. Difference in shadow. Um, you know, I look yellow, I look muted out, and you probably saw it in one of my last video. I was did my front scene here and you could tell I was, you know, really muted out. So the lights make a difference. Get you some lights if you can. All right, let's move on to the rest of the house. Cue the travel music. So if you watch any of my videos, you know I do my kitchen scenes right here. So you can see the difference of lighting now with my kitchen scenes and this ugly kitchen lighting. Now we're gonna go down into a um, dark stairwell into my basement so you can kind of see how the cameras react with darker lighting. So let's go and hopefully I don't trip. Side and hopefully you can see the difference between the two. Again, the Canon is on my right and the Sony is on my left. And we're just gonna pan around and see some different lighting. Stabilization. Watch me run and hold these heavy things. <laughs> Here we go. video on my new Canon G7X Mark II. I'm really enjoying this camera so far. I'm thinking the quality is going to be a lot better than my old Sony. I'm keeping my old Sony for other reasons. I think it's still going to come in really handy for certain um, shots I want to take and definitely for, like I probably have mentioned before, Ireland soccer games. So I will utilize both cameras still, but I think this one is going to suit my vlogging style a lot more easily than my Sony. 
Um, the one thing I'm still kind of bummed about with this Canon is the autofocus on smaller objects quickly. But if you know, um, you know, all you camera connoisseurs out there that might be watching my video, if you know a way to make that autofocus on small things, um, you know, react on its own without a bigger object behind it, definitely leave me a comment and leave me a comment about any tricks or settings that you might know in regards to the Canon G7X because I'm still learning and I'm watching YouTube tutorials on it. And I would love for you guys to, you know, give me a heads up and make my life easier so I don't have to search the World Wide Web on um, figuring out my camera. So comments below are great. Definitely check out my links below. I'm going to put my lighting up, the current camera, my old camera, tripod, other camera things. And I also put some fashion links in my um information below too just in case you want to check out some of the things you might see me wearing or using in my vlogs as well so always check those out subscribe if you're liking my channel i love all the new subscribers i've gotten in the last couple weeks i appreciate you guys many many loves to you guys and i definitely am heading over to your videos too so subscribe to me i'll subscribe to you until next time guys thanks see ya and don't forget keep chasing life will ya here comes the disclaimer I'm not a camera expert.